Jordan's messages. Guys, uh, it's getting freezing in Tennessee now. I'm absolutely freezing. All I want to do is go outside and run and play football. And guess what? My hands get cold and then they start to crack and then they start to bleed. That was that was a big problem when I was a child. Okay, my hands would literally crack open and bleed. Does anybody else have that problem? Jordan, if you got a phone call one evening that Josh had just been arrested, but no details were forthcoming, what would jump first into your mind that he had probably done? If there were no details at all and Josh was basically arrested without a cause, that that's why he was arrested because he was trying not to be arrested for this thing that there was no cause. That was confusing. But do you know what I'm saying? Jordan, my best friend is starting to act differently around other people than when we are alone. Like when it's just us, she's normal. But when we get around other people, she starts making fun of me in a kidding way. She knows she acts different, but she doesn't know that she can be kind of hurtful. Should I talk to her about it? If so, what should I say? If it hurts your feelings like that, maybe you should just go to your friend and you not make it a big deal or anything, but just say, hey, it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit when you when you say this in front of other people. It seems like it, you know, it's kind of, you know, different when we're alone, but don't, you know, I wouldn't like make it into like a this big deal or anything. Just kind of let your friend know that it happens, but don't make it seem like you're angry at them or anything like that. Just kind of, you know, just kind of put it on the table, but don't make it like, you know, this is, this is a huge huge deal, but just kind of t let them know, like have a conversation about it. Hi Jordan, this last year I was at a camp and I met these two girls and they seemed like they wanted to be my friends, but then I went back to the same camp the next year. They sort of started giving me mixed signals. They also acted different around me compared to other guys. I had to generate all the conversations when it was just me and them, like they didn't want to talk to me. And now I'm confused, what should I do? That's what you get at summer camps. I mean, like, I, I don't know what else, what what you expect. Like, do you expect to go back and all of a sudden it's like they're, you know, they, they want to be with you 24 seven, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, things change when you're not with somebody for an entire year and you go back, people are different. Yeah, let, let's put it this way. When you're at a summer camp for say a week, you know nothing about those people. Not you absolutely nothing. They go back home and they live their lives for another year and they come back and you see them for one more week. You, you have expectations. This is what I have to say. You have expectations about these people that you know nothing about. And so you're letting yourself down. So just... I don't know how to end this. <laughs> Hey Jordan, a while ago one of my sisters got a boyfriend. They're really touchy-feely and have no problem with showing lots of PDA while around me and my other siblings. It makes us feel extremely uncomfortable. How do I ask them to stop making us feel so awkward? There's about two ways to do this. If you actually have a good relationship with your sibling, you can just, at, you know, when they're, when the boyfriend is gone, just say, hey, this is really uncomfortable, can you please stop? But that's the good way. If you have a bad relationship with your sibling, there's literally nothing that you can do. And that's the sad truth, but you can't, you can't really do anything about it. So just, you know, let them do their thing, whatever. And you just, you go, why don't you just like go in another room or something? If it's, you know, I, hopefully you have a good relationship with your sibling because that's the easy solution to get it done. So I went to Academy Sports to get some, you know, three star ping pong balls and they bounce the exact same way as the Walmart brand. So look who wasted $10. This guy. Don't be messy. And leave good messages.